Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. When we last left off, we uh, actually filled in the last two secret missions, which I had to do uh, off camera, which was fun <laughs> because we missed them. Anyway, let's go to the military ward. The statesmen are using trains to ferry equipment back to their new defense line. Your mission is to cut off the retreating UCS forces. Uh, the target is a railroad, rail, railroad, railroad, <laughs> railroad bridge that spans the Besk River. Blow it up along with any trains crossing it. Dismissed. Yes. So here we are. Oh, hello. What's that horrible noise? Over there, two Wanzas are duking it out. Ah, these must be our new recruits. Another troublesome duo. Those are army regulars? Why are they fighting each other? In the middle of town? Should we intervene? Will we get paid? No. There's your answer. Stop the army wanzas. Yeah, we're going to stop the wanzas. Because um, although you don't have to intervene, this is the fastest way to get these guys. Uh, I guess Royd's going to take the challenge. So we're up against Portunga. Or Poronga. Actually, yeah, Poronga. This guy is <laughs> this guy's an interesting chap. Let's see if we can't knock him down a peg or two. Oof, he's got some moves. Might not be able to handle this guy on our own, to be honest. Let's light him up Oof, with the rockets. Come on, let's get some rocket action going. Oh, man, he might have our ass here. Go for the body shot. All right, we got him. Oof, rockets came in clutch there. Jesus. <laughs> that came down to the wire. What the hell was that all about? Ah, this is just Paranga. Yeah, these two are kind of like that. <laughs> Why were you fighting? This is Paranga, my partner. He goes crazy like that from time to time. And I gotta stop him. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I'm not sure how the army feels about two pilots kind of going berserk and shooting up each other's wanzas. Seems like that would be something that would get quite expensive. I'm not crazy. I came to save the trees and animals of Huffman. I volunteered to join the army to help end the war. War kills the trees and animals, but the OCU and UCS do not want to end the war. It makes me angry. Uh-huh. You're the Canyon Crows, right? I must go with you. I've seen it in a vision. A great flight of crows will sweep over the island and restore peace. Uh, sure, I don't mind. But what about your partner here? Bobby, you come too. You know my visions always come true. Alright, fine. I'm Bobby Hopkins. Hey, Bobby has joined. And so has Parunga. Okay, so let's have a little squiz. So I have been grinding a little bit. Okay, Bobby and Paranga. Okay, they're level 14. That's good. I've got Molly all the way up from level 5 to level 13. Grinding takes time. A lot of time. It's kind of a ball ache. Gregorio is still on 11. Hands is up to 20. Older, oh god, older, still 14. Paul's 13. Ah, uh, Mayhua is still 12. Frederick's up to 19. JJ, 16. Keith, 16. Natalie, 19. Ryuji, 18. Royd, 18. Alright, it's not bad. Um, let's go get these guys some new mechs. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Rainbow. I like that. Cowboy, Trogan, Kong, Tommy, Death. Oh, actually. I 
I was going to say, maybe these Wanzas aren't actually that out of date, but, uh, yeah, they kind of are. Alright, fine. Your money's good here. Good. Uh, okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm using my, um, Corsa Virtuoso headset, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, now, when I'm playing with an old console, oh, I say an old console, a old console or a incredibly backward console a switch <laughs> um, you have no uh, way of turning it down which sucks so this is actually deafening right let's get some parts sorted on this bad boy uh, do we want to go for all out HP Mm. More health. Hmm. I like having more power at my disposal, I suppose. There is a big difference in health, though. You know what? More health. Let's go for Zelt. Okay. Okay. His arms might actually be pretty good already. He's got the... Oh, he's all the way down here. Interesting. Um, we want something that's... Okay, that's got more accuracy. And slightly less defense. Might leave their arms as is for now. Until we can get like a significant upgrade. Doesn't appear to be much of a oh dunno actually. That's kinda quite the upgrade. That's got more movement. Movement is king. Let's go with that. CPU, yep, all round CPU, and get him a backpack. Now, weapons, what can we do? Weapons, so he's got the uh, Mostro 24, which is something that apparently we. Oh god, he's all the way down here. Jeez Louise. Yeah, we're going to have to pump that up. So he's got an automatic rifle, basically. So, let's get him outfitted with one of those. And what's in his other hand? Type 502. Which is... Wow, all the way down there. That's actually a rifle. Um... You know what? Let's just give him another... Assault rifle, sure. Rockets. We're going to go for the... Oh, I don't know. I do like the donkey. But, obviously, we're going to go for the best tool for the... Ooh, overweight. Alright. That's fine. One set of rockets is enough. And then we have Parunga in his natural... Which we're going to do much the same. Can't remember what we put Matey Boy in now. Yep, yeah, power. Uh, now his arms are different. He's got the Venart. Which are all the way down there. They are a significant improvement. Interesting that that really isn't. I suppose the improvement on that is it's lighter. Let's go for you. What's he already got in there? A grope. Where's the grope? Oh god, the grope's all the way down there. Good lord. 
All right, well, let's just match him, I guess. Weighs a little bit less. Same stats, just weighs less. Uh, we want movement, really. A lot less health, but I do like movement in this game. He's actually got a pretty decent CPU. All right, well, we'll keep him with that then. Now, as you can see, he doesn't actually have any weapons. That is because he is a melee character. But, that ain't going to fly. So, let's give him the flame fox. Another flame fox, just to be different. Give him the... Oh, God, look at the way the rocket launcher is. Kind of looks a bit silly. But that's fine. There we go. That'll do, Donkey. And, of course, let's give him a respray of white paint. Now, um, one thing that we might need to do, actually, which we can't do here, and this is taking up so much time, but that's okay. Uh, set up. Let's make sure these guys are ready to go with items right I'm gonna pause this bit guys I'll see you in a minute okay right now that's done let's exit and I've got my uh, other headset as well so <laughs> I actually have volume control imagine that yeah kind of a strange oversight on the um, Corsair Virtuosa which I have noticed the Cheeky little bastards. They've brought out a new model of that now. Not even a month after I bought mine, which has Bluetooth and loads of other fancy features. Because of course they did. Hands are the explosive set. Yes, sir, they're primed. The first charge will go off once the train's on the bridge. The second charge will drop the section of the bridge behind the train, cutting off its escape. The third is set right below the train. Wait a minute. We're going to blow up the train too? Those are the orders. What about the cargo? Who knows how much it'll sell for? Well, there's some time before the third detonation. You could go and recover the cargo during that time. The train's coming. Right on time. Detonating Sulia. Yeah, we have this cool volume wheel, but it just spins and does nothing. Unless it's plugged into your computer via the software. Which is fantastic. And now it's Noon's turn. I guess they're the names of the bridge. I don't know. We've got Hostiles. Quite a few, apparently. That was some serious tonnage on that uh, train there. Jeez. Well, that's okay. Wanzers! Let's move! The cargo's mine. <laughs> Don't forget about Priss's detonation countdown. Yeah, that's cool. Well... Ooh, we can only take eight people. Right. So we're going to take... Take Royd, Ryuji, Natalie... Keith... JJ... Fred... That brings us up to six. And let's take... Uh, Prunga and Bobby. Two glorious battle! Alright. Eight turns until Pris detonation. Okay, so we're going to have to move. Yeah, we're, our movement is extremely limited here as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. Bloody hell, I haven't played this for so long. We've got all the quick movement and shit on. Which I don't mind. I'm going to be honest. I quite like this quick movement. Uh, I forgot that was still on. 
Right, these guys are going to move up as far as they can. And now we're in weapons range. Hit them with the piz. Oh, okay, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Peewee, you can get in there as well. So we got the combat action on. We just have the quick movement. Yeah, massive fan of this quick movement. Gonna say. Obviously, uh, let me know in the comments. Now, I'm going to be quite a few videos ahead, but if you guys do want me to turn this off, I will. Uh, right, let's get you dropping down there. Oh, God. See, there's no off-ramp down here. Kind of sucks. Sucky dick a little bit. Right, let's move you into missile range. Missile attacker. We can handle the attackers. Let's try and do some damage on the missiles. Uh, you know what? Go for a body shot. Haha! <laughs> Get out of here. Not bad, Natalie. Not bad. Now our mechs, oh sorry, wanzas are a little bit out of date now, but you know, that's fine. Uh, I guess we could soften up this attacker here. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, that, yep, that'll do it. That's how you soften up a wanza. Uh, right, keep advancing. Now these. Big dogs. You know what? Block him. And attack. Use your assault. Yeah. It's not fantastic. But, like, I, like I've been saying, we need to get some uh, experience. Ooh, nice. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He's got a flamethrower. Uh, he's got a single shot weapon. Which is bad news, bears. Um... That might have been a mistake. I don't make mistakes. Or something. Yeah. Karunga, my old mate, you're going to have a bad time. I think. If he survives, we can hit him with a repair kit. But that is if he survives. And that's kind of a big but right now. Bobby's also getting rocked around pretty hardcore. You know what? Light him up. That's okay. Get that experience flowing in. Uh, go for the flame fox. Oof, okay. That was not as horrible as it could have been. Let's be honest. Right, let's get some of these other big dogs into the action. Right, let's warm this guy's ass up with some rockets. Go for center mass. Oh, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. Move closer into the action. Now. You know what? Where you are, you can hit everything. So... Not a horrible idea. Hit him. Send a mass. Get out of here. I guess these um, rocket launchers aren't as obsolete as I feared they might be. Which is good. I mean, I still want to get some uh, other missile, uh, other weapon experience on these guys. But that's okay. Uh, don't want to take him out. I want uh, Bobby to handle him to get some XP. Wouldn't mind Perunga to get some more XP as well, but alas, Perunga is in a bit of a bad place. Nice. We'll take it. We're thinning the herd. Come on, buddy. Take him out. Ah, oh, what the Jesus fuck Christ was that? Right. I want you. Uh, to possibly. 
not necessarily do well yeah disengage up there use a repair kit there we are all sins have been hidden or something yep all right took that on the chin Use your assault, dude. Oof. Yes, Bobby, you did it, brother. You did it. His uh, short skill is actually pretty good. We definitely want switch. Switch is a fantastic skill. Um, if switch triggers, that means they will fire. If they've got a weapon in each hand, if switch triggers, they will fire both weapons. Um, those are the sort of skills that start changing the battle. Flame Fox. Like, for instance, if he had switched there, he would have fired with both of his flamethrowers at once. It is a fantastic if it goes ahead, anyway. But the more you use it, the more it levels up. And the more it levels up, the more often it triggers. Okay. Got some crap there, that's fine. Uh, right. Bobby's in a bad place. But that's okay. Let's sneak up behind here. Start doing some damage. Natalie! You're meant to be doing the damage, not the other way around. Oh, good lord. Okay. Well. Man, these attackers kind of suck. Actually. Go for the commander. Alright, that's fine. We might actually... Maybe lose Natalie. Maybe. That would suck an extremely large amount of goat penis. But it is what it is. Parunga, brother, take him out with your flamer. Oof. Not quite what we wanted, but I'll take it, I guess. Pee Wee, you can just chill where you are, to be fair. Oh, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby's okay. He's taking some hits. That's fine. Right, Natalie. <sighs> right, if Natalie takes a hit, she's gone. He is going to be attacking with a assault weapon, though. So, yeah, she should be fine. Right, Flame Fox, go! Oof. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I do like the flamethrowers in this game. I really do. Four turns until detonation. Yeah, we got this. Right, let's move into attack range. Hit him with the missiles. Center mass. Go! Yeah, he's had enough. Getting disgusting amounts of uh, experience as well. Which is good. And we have a cat playing silly buggers with the door, which is not great. Uh, Nat, uh, Natalie, I kind of want you to take him out, but I know you won't, so use a repair kit. Keith, move into act combat and give me your missiles. Sent a mass. Keith. Keith. It's not how it works, buddy. Right, well, I guess JJ oof, can move in. Wow, 150 XP. Jeez. Yes, please. Fred, I want you to engage the dude too. Fred. Fred, you're not listening. Man, you guys need some serious short skill. I haven't played this game for like quite a few weeks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I had forgotten about just how far behind they were. Uh, you know what? 
Move up. Get your assault gun going. Come on, guy. Come on. You you can hit him. You can hit the one weak weapon. All right? I believe in you. Well. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. E. Ah, that stung. That, that, that. Ooh, that stung. That really stung. All right, not bad. Getting that weapon skill. Um, and I spy a cat creeping across my desk. Which is perfect, actually, because now I can have some coffee. All right. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to drink coffee and play games here. And here you are, filling my entire area up with your stank. Get out of here. Bye. Don't you're wasting my time, Leo. You're wasting viewers' time. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Oof. There we go. Oh, the switch. He pulled the switch off. Did you see how much experience he got for that? 360 experience. That was because he got two attacks. Yeah, this is where you start moving up into game-changing um, pilot skill. Alright. Yeah. Oh, dear. That wasn't great. So, how are we doing? There's no more wanzas that way. Alright, Leo. He's being a pest. You're being a pest, aren't you, boy? I'll give you some attention after this. Right. Hit him with that. Uh, you know what? Because I don't want to go for a kill shot. Go for his arm. Yep. That'll do it. Now. I guess we could go for a guide. Try. Get rid of that rocket launcher. Nice. Now, attack again. Guide, go for his weapon. Nice. Uh, Keith can attack. Go for that. Go for his other weapon. Alright, not bad. JJ, light him up. Ooh, nice. Okay. Wasn't a kill shot, but that's all right. Fred, let him have it. Now that's a kill shot. All right. Bobby, move in behind. Light his ass up. Very nice. So did Bobby just get like two levels? Might have even been three levels. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, three levels in one battle. Mission complete. Let's fall back before they realize we've been here. Hey, a message from Olsen. He says, uh, Belchka. Oh, Belchka. That's a hell of a name. Is OCU now. We're supposed to meet up with him there. Sounds like a plan. Oi! Yeah. How much damage can one cat cause, honestly? Right, so we got 20,000, and with the casualties we caused, 25,000 for that mission. Not too shabby, Melados. Not too shabby at all. Right, let's go. There. There we go. And with that, guys. Oh, we got some story. OCU Army HQ has moved to this town. We've been ordered to report in. There you are. Good. General Blakewood just arrived. General, these are the members of the Canyon Crows. Your trust in them was well placed, sir. Glad to hear it. I don't think I've met most of you yet. I'm General Willis E. Blakewood. 
I'm the man responsible for creating and overseeing the canyon crows. That's the boss? Uh, he's kind of rugged. What? Come on, May. How can you say that when you have a fine young specimen of the male gender standing right here? Huh? Huh? Watch yourself, Keith. It's 2022. You've got to be careful now. Lakewood. Uh, I've read Olsen's reports, and I'm quite impressed by your performance. I want to give you your next orders personally. You are to assist the army in Operation Eagle Tears. Bloody cat. Um, the army is in... Uh, the UCS army is in disarray, and now is the most opportune time to strike their central base of operations, Fort Mondus. Colonel Olsen has the details. The crows will cross the... Uh, what the fuck? Parunta Desert and take up position in the west of Fort Mundus. The four troops should have a base set up there by the time you arrive. You'll be covering the advance's left flank. Your role in this operation is critical. I wish you luck. That'll be all. Dismissed. Whew, I'm glad that's over. If you'd stay, Natalie, the general wishes to speak with you. Yes, sir. Awesome. Leave us. Yes, sir. It's been a while. Permission to rejoin my squad to prepare for the mission, sir. Natalie. If you came here to try and make me leave the crows, you're wasting your time. Don't be so stubborn. I guess my squad mate's temperament has rubbed off on me. Don't worry, father. You saw Olsen's reports. I can take care of myself. Fine. You're dismissed. Natalie Blakewood, returning for duty, sir. <laughs> She's the boss's daughter. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end it there because we've been going for quite some time. And uh, I've got to go into town to meet my missus. So thank you very much for watching. When we return, we're going to have a little look around. Maybe off camera, I'll do a little bit more grinding. And I might upgrade some of our mechs, possibly. Sorry, wanzers. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.